Hello friends, welcome to webscript.info and I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel and here you can see on my screen it's a Laravel website so of course it means I'm going to begin a series on Laravel and it's no ordinary series which will let you know how Laravel works there are a lot of videos and a lot of websites and of Laravel one of the most uh, cleared uh, documented, uh, documented website it, it has a very good documentation you, you can follow the documentation to learn Laravel but what I'm going to do I'm going to series a mini project uh, that mini project will let you know how Laravel works what are the routes what are the middlewares what are the models controllers authentications a lot of things so with that mini project you can understand uh, Laravel and you can begin your project in Laravel from next time so in this video I will like, help you to set up the environment to begin work with Laravel and for that of course we need a uh, Apache server to run PHP code of course it's a PHP uh, framework and the most important thing this is the only PHP framework Mm, from uh, it releases in 2011 and it is the most re re most recent framework of uh, PHP and th this is the most popular framework out there in the market available for you and the and the thing is it is the only framework which has 40,000 star on github you can go and check their uh, laravel okay so how to begin first and foremost thing is we need Apache server and we can have Apache server uh, by some softwares you can install that software in your system and uh, of course you are in this video series means you have already installed um, a la some softwares like vamp or zamp or any other software which uh, which makes your PHP run so for that uh, I'm just going to let you know the websites I'm not going to install Zam I already have and if I will install then I will mess up everything in my system so just visit uh, apachefriends.org or you can simply type Zamp in Google and the first web first link you can see the apachefriends.org go inside and you can download the Zamp the current PHP version is 7.2.11 and you can download 32 bit version and it will uh, run in 64 bit also so there is no 64 bit version available as per my knowledge uh, it is available in linux 64 bit mac 64 bit but not for windows on windows it has the 32 bit which runs for both 32 bit and 64 bit so that's it just download it and install in your system and if you face any difficulty while installing xam just let me know in the comment section and I'm gonna help you that's it next thing uh, we need we need to check the PHP right so what you can do you can simply press Windows plus R in your system keyboard shortcut Windows and R so it will open simply the run window of the system and here you can type CMD command prompt okay and what you can do you can after installing XAM first and uh, first once the installation finish close this and open your command prompt and type php hyphen hyphen version just to make sure php is globally available in your system so just type php hyphen hyphen version press enter and you can see the php uh, version 7.2.4 is installed in my system and if you are typing php hyphen hyphen version and you are getting like un Define command or anything uh, which is a warning or it, c it could be anything right uh, definitely uh, it means you don't have php in your globally available system variables so you can do one thing just uh, close your command prompt and uh, go to inside your my computer or this pc anything just right click properties and you can see the advanced system settings go inside and uh, there are a few tabs so just it is already in advanced tab so advanced tab environment variables and you can see here user variables for hp my laptop is hp so don't don't touch this one and you can see here system variables the second uh, window or tab or whatever it is so the we are we are going to modify system variables and just call and you can see path click on edit 
and you can add path here just by clicking new and it will give you the path once you will have you can uh, go to inside your php after installing uh, php uh, after installing xamp you can run your xamp xamp control panel go inside and there is a window uh, button called explorer click over here and it will open this file and you can see the php folder just go inside and click over here copy this path this available path copy close 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 this one also and you can create a new path variable and store it like this but i already have uh, you can see here uh, this one c drive sam php that's it. i already have that's why i can see the php is globally globally available in my system so once uh, everything is done up to now just close everything and you already know how to set the php globally then you need to install uh, one php dependency manager that is composer because without composer you cannot install laravel in your system it is not like code igniter which you can download from the code igniter website as a zip file and you can place that file in the ht docs of xamp or triple w folder of xamp it is not like that you must have a composer without composer you can't install laravel so just go and type composer in the google head enter and uh, it's very easy for windows user and the first link composer and you can see the dependency manager for php what does it mean you can read here composer is an application level package manager for the php programming language that provides a standard format for managing dependencies of php software and required libraries in simple terms you can install php uh, packages let's say you can have a pdf uh, there are a few packages for uh, to create pdf files there are packages like to create to send emails one of the most for famous packages php mailer you can install php mailer using composer you don't need to go in the github and install the um, you know, download the zip file and anything so you can install uh, php um, soft uh, so, sorry not software uh, just the packages you can install the php packages in your system using composer this is this is that mean go inside composer so it is just a dependency manager for php just click on download button and there are all the available ways of installing composer for different different environment but we are windows user so for us it's it is the simplest one download and run composer setup exe click over here and after clicking this it is starts downloading and it is just about 2 megabyte i think not more than that uh, not 2 megabyte it is just uh, 730 kb so it's installed in your system just locate your file and it is already i uh, installed many times i think so just click over here and run as administrator yes and there are uh, instructions for other different environment users you can follow these instruction right for different people mm, okay that's that's enough other people are smart mm, yeah, next keep it everything default don't click over here take and take control and just install computer so just don't click over here. keep everything default next and it will detect automatically your php.exe file what the full drive i have play path i have already placed in the system variable so it will automatically detect your php.exe file you don't need to touch this one also just click on next and wait and you don't need to provide the url because we are going to use local server we are not uh, getting anything from outside of this system for now next and it will show you the php version 7.2.4 and this is the path of your php version so he wants you to install yes click on install and why my cursor is blinking i don't know is this something wrong so it's just next and uh, view online documentation click over here and to see the view documentation just click finish that's it we are done with composer also right 
and just to check your composer is installed successfully in your system or not press windows r the shortcut key hit uh, cmd open the command prompt and type composer hyphen hyphen version just to make sure composer installed so you can see the current composer version is 1.7.2 so the composer is already installed in our system that's it that's this is what what i want so our system is ready uh, to execute laravel packages and everything else and uh, i will uh, also install laravel package in this video and from the next video we will see how to work with laravel so just to install laravel packages you can go inside the documentation and there are commands to install laravel this command you can use uh, via composer create project so composer then create project then hyper hyper prefer distribution uh, and then laravel forward slash laravel and the the project name so this is blog project so you can install laravel uh, by by running this command uh, this laravel simply means the vendor name and this this is the package what you want to install in your system and this is a project name blog and this is hyphen hyphen preferred distribution so it will uh, select the most uh, latest version of laravel which is 5.7 the most lat latest version of laravel is 5.7 you can specify the version also if you are not in interested in 5.7 but i don't think you are not interested in 5.7 of course everyone is interested in the latest version okay so now it's time to open your command prompt 